Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Camouflage of the World. I'm Mike B, and today we're going to be taking a look at the OEF pattern, aka Multicam. So this original pattern was designed by a company called Cry Precision in the late 1990s, and it was actually tested by the military in their little trials to replace the BDU in 2001 and 2002, but was somehow miraculously beat out by UCP, but that's a totally different topic. So pretty cool design. It consists of a kind of modeled large pinkish brown I know a lot of these colors aren't exact but it's like a kind of a pinkish brown and um light olive green with smaller spots of dark brown and sand and moss green so you can kind of see I'll try to get a spot there's just and they fade together pretty well so it's just basically the colors and you've got the the khaki in there as well so it's a pretty unique pattern especially for the time it was a pretty revolutionary design but again, UCP is apparently better. Anyway, so we're going to talk about this actual pattern of a uniform and kind of the history behind that really quick. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get into the UCP in another video. So I really want to do that. All right, staying on topic. So basically what I know about this is in around 2009, um, they started testing different camouflage patterns in Afghanistan specifically because UCP was just not cutting it. It just was not actually camouflaging people unless it was completely full of dirt which negates the whole pur purpose of having camouflage in the first place so UCP Delta which is another weird pattern and this were among a few of the patterns that were kind of fielded with uh, some units I know the 82nd Airborne the uh, 4th Infantry Division all that stuff they were kind of testing these things out. I think 10th Mountain at that point was too and they found out that multicam is actually a pretty damn good pattern especially in Afghanistan and a lot of the mountainous regions and even in more of the kind of uh, wooded areas in Afghanistan. It's a pretty unique country. So my friend that was there at, at the time in 2009 with 4th Infantry Division said that it actually worked like almost too well sometimes if they were doing a dismounted patrol. Um, they'd lose their guys uh, out on the left and right echelon because they would be blending in if they weren't moving. So it worked very well, but they got used to it. They were just used to like, being able to look over and see UCP. And oh, there's my buddy right there. Huh? Okay, good. So, anyway, this particular uniform was actually officially adopted in 2010 after resounding results of soldiers that were in the field were like, yeah, multicam, the way to go, do it, please. So that's kind of what started off the whole transition from UCP really quick. It only lasted a few years, and in Afghanistan they said, no, nah, this, is, this is garbage, and this is actually a pretty effective camouflage pattern. So, yeah, they... They started officially making these in 2010. It's kind of known as the OEF pattern. Some of the tags are actually stamped with that. Some of the later ones, this one's dated 2010, so it's a really early contract one. And a lot of the special ops community, or the special ops community in all branches, actually have been wearing this since around that time, 2009, when they started being able to get them made. A lot of people were buying them civilian, you know, like from Cry Precision. They were buying their uniforms and actually wearing this before it was even uh, fielded with the regular conventional units. So that's pretty interesting too that it worked that well. People would be willing to pay, you know, three hundred bucks for a uniform to wear that because it actually was effective at concealing them. So <clears throat> yeah, it's again, it's it's pretty interesting to notice that you know you go, oh, it looks like OCP. What's the difference? I'll be doing a separate video on that. But basically, long story short, you see, or you or OCP. Sorry if I said UCP. OCP does not have any vertical designs like this it's just straight up horizontal it's very very similar to multicam and to somebody that doesn't really know what they're looking at it does almost look exactly the same but the army owns the scorpion pattern it's called and cry precision owns the rights to this particular pattern so that's another video that i'll probably do in the future but this one's going to be just focusing on this particular camouflage pattern <clears throat> that's really all i've got this is worn from about 2010 to i don't know 2015 16 when they started actually replacing it with ocp and there you have it. This is a frac U, we call it. It's a fire retardant or flame retardant army combat uniform design. You can tell from the little, little nylon square right there. And there's just a little bit of difference between this and the regular ACUs. They decided to put the infrared tab on the little fold-out tab itself and not on the pocket. Um, this is the cotton and, what is it, rayon. Let me see really quick. Uh, anyway, it's the, the fire retardant one. It's a lighter weight, <clears throat> uh, lighter weight material for, you know, it just, it burns. It doesn't melt like nylon does. And these were issued to troops that were obviously deployed. And 
Yeah, it's basically the only actual official uniform that I think was was adopted was the fire retardant one. So the only the only problem with those is they they fade rather quickly and they don't really last as long as the fifty fifty nylon cotton ones. But hey, at that time this was needed in a pinch. And they should have never needed it in a pinch because UCP should have never been a thing. But hey, um, yeah. So this did end up replacing UCP, and then now we have OCP, which is essentially this, like I said, without a couple variants. So or just features, we'll call it. Anyway, I'll end the video with that. Nice short video, but I figured I'd give you an example of an original, you know, early contract. Um, this is the original multicam, which is pretty neat. So thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. If you consider becoming a supporter on Patreon for the channel, it helps me get cool things to make videos on, get a little bit better camera equipment and setup and all that stuff. Dollar a month buys you in. Um, five bucks a month or more gets you access to my Discord server, which is pretty fun. I do post exclusive content on Patreon. But uh, yeah, so the link is in the description. Check that out if you'd be willing to. But if not, I totally get that. I appreciate you watching. If you got any questions, I'll try to answer them. But this should basically be about the most basic information you need to know about this pattern. So thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next episode of Camouflage of the World.